by looking at this sitting position and the way how he integrates the legs in the lying down position and the way the leg twists and the knee collapses my assumption was that the problem a really big problem which is not so visible but essential is the tilt of the coccyx right the tilt of the tailbone and this is what is very much confirmed by what we see here i mean if you check you will definitely see that the coccyx disappears there and also you see as a result that the buttocks they slipped down so you don't have any visibility of the iliac ridges you don't have any size of the buttocks so basically everything is gone so and that happens again when you have the tailbone here this whole chunk being excessively tilted in right but it's not just kind of oh you know we just lose the tailbone no it doesn't work like that actually you know it's not just this tilt, but it's the important point you now this is where you have to kind of get yourself into some geometry so you see here that's the part see that's the transition so where you've got two things the tilt of the sacrum and within the sacrum there's extra tilt of the coccyx and you can see the connections of the coccyx they have all these integrations there so that's one thing right is that when the coccyx is abnormally excessively disconnected and tilted further down that means that this entire part so with that stitching of the legs together is effectively gone so the legs become like really much more split and separate that's one of the big things why they twist so easily right see here if you realize this part now every point here every point here is rotational you see that's an essential point and that's another essential point so everything absolutely everything underneath the entire legs the entire legs right they are hooked and dependent on this so if if this space which is maybe like two three centimeters is tilted tilted right so you see it gets an extra tilt that much that much or maybe even that much so what is this say it's tilted 60 degrees or more it could be combined it could be the tilt you know 30 60 here plus 30 here you know that will be like a 90 degrees turn right so what does that mean if we now recalculate this this value of this angle right because the angles they work like that see from here to here to here to here so from the coccyx which is two centimeters it works for the leg which is say 50 centimeters what you lose as an angle here then impacts the entire leg so therefore instead of looking down the new as the coccyx tilts that leg the neutral position of the leg in respect to the pelvis becomes actually this it's looking for and that's the reason why he would have this but this loss right he would have this extreme tilt which we are observing over here so that's really the understanding and that's a disconnection of the knee and all these other problems so that's why this is a critical part right and of course i hope that it's quite clear that this tilt in order for the buttocks and the meat to be there it has to be like elevated and if this whole thing is tilted right what happens effectively all the fascia like slides down so you have the empty bones instead of having that filled up chunks 
here. So in other words, if the coccyx gets this extra tilt, all these volumes are going to disappear, the pelvis is not going to open and so on. So that's why it's a critical thing for you to understand. That's going to be a huge, huge point, right? So you see you, where you have to understand. In reality, no one else except of ABR can actually help you with this because that, and that development of the coccyx and the connection belongs to very early phases of the channel development. So we need to start working to get this response and extraction over there. But this is absolutely, absolutely essential for his progress.